Hey guys, welcome back. Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. About three or four months ago, I built this portable, this stand for my uh, Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. And it's been fantastic. I really love this saw. It's a great tool. It's very useful. And I just wanted to uh, build a stand for it where I can use it like a, a stationary upright bandsaw. And it's really easy. I just lift the uh, saw off of there if I want to use it. And it's still a portable unit as well. Uh, this, this video is not so much about the stand. If you're interested on how I made the stand, I'll put a link probably in the description or maybe a card up here on the screen or something to, uh, to the video where I built the stand. So anyway, I want to make this platform or this table, portable bandsaw table, a little more useful. I'll bring you in and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I don't like about the stock table that comes with it and then show you how I went about making a new table, a DIY portable bandsaw table that just bolts right on there and uh, makes the saw, for my purposes, much more useful. You can see it was stamped out of a piece of steel and it's a pretty stout piece of steel. Not quite, maybe close to an eighth of an inch thick, but uh, it's small and it's also made to slide forward and backward for different applications. It's got a big gap here for the blade, so there's plenty of clearance there, but it's got these ridges in it where the bolts go and the slide area is, and then another ridge over here probably just to strengthen that piece. So when I'm cutting something tiny, depending on how I'm cutting on it, you know, these, these ridges, it'll fit down in there crooked. And another thing, probably one of the worst things about this platform is they did not recess these, it's not thick enough to have the heads, Allen heads of these bolts recessed. So when you run a piece across there, it hits the head of that bolt and lifts the piece up. So you can't run it across there smooth with those bolts sticking up like that. So I've thought about that, I've had this saw over a year now and I've thought about this many times over. There's a lot of great designs where they'll just clamp onto this piece with a cam lock type thing. You can remove the table. I think that's a great design. I considered that one. Just uh, unbolt this and bolt on a big old piece to make a nice big table. That's also a, a thought, but I wanted something that was a little bit smaller, bigger than what I have here with the stock one, but a little bit smaller so it can still be portable. So what I came up with was I took a, a scrap piece of uh, eighth inch mild steel plate that I bought at the uh, scrap yard. I, I picked it up for like 25 cents a pound. It was, so it was almost free. I did have to clean the rust off of it and it had surface rust on it and stuff. And I cut out a plate. I'll show you some pictures of, of what I started with and uh, how I worked my way through it, but I took the plate off of the saw, laid it on top of the new one to kind of come up with dimensions that I thought would be about right. A little bit bigger than what I currently have, but not too big. And uh, an eighth of an inch thick would not be quite thick enough for this clearance for these bolts. I just want to use the same bolts. So let me take that off of there. And I'll show you a couple of other issues with just making a plate and bolting it on there, at least that I ran into. And I'll show you how I dealt with them. So you see how it's got this raised portion here. And that's where the plate would ride. And then about an eighth of an inch wide shelf here and one over here on this side. And these are all the same level. So if I just bolted a plate on top of that, I'd have a gap. And the only thing that would support it would be this 3 8 inch wide strip here where the bolts are. That may be fine, but I wanted it to be better supported than that. So what I came up with was mounting a plate on the back of the 1 8 inch steel plate that I originally cut into shape. And then I uh, drilled 3 8 inch holes in the plate 
and that would accommodate the screw heads, these Allen head or bolt heads, so that they could fit down in there and be uh, recessed or countersunk below the surface of the shelf or the actual working table. This little step here is 3 32 of an inch. And I see they've got a piece of wire right there, 3 32 of an inch round piece of wire that they have tack welded or spot welded in there. What that does is it rides on that shelf to give it support. So I've, I've got some 3 32 uh, steel TIG rod. I use that idea to build the platform that I built. So here's the finished plate that I've come up with. It's 1 8 of an inch thick, 4 inches wide, by five inches or real close to it, five and a quarter inches in length. So it's not huge, but it's much bigger than the original that was on there. And I have a much closer gap here where the blade rides. I just stopped drilled a hole at the back of the slot so that that doesn't split or crack, hopefully. Here's my recessed holes for the uh, bolts. And they fit right down in there and they completely go below the, the top surface. So once it's bolted in place, there's no problem with the uh, part that you're trying to cut. Slides all across the front of that plate where there's no problem whatsoever. And then to deal with those shelves, I took three pieces, just cut these to length, snipped them tack welded them on there exactly where they ride on those recessed areas of the platform and now it fits on there snug and solid there's no wobble or anything in it as you can see I doubled up I built the bottom piece and and then TIG welded it all the way around and that was kind of fun to do I, I you know I mean the welds are okay They'll definitely work. Um, but it was a good practice for me. And now I've got a nice solid plate that I can use on the saw in place of this one. Now this one is fixed. I didn't want to have it to where I could slide it back and forth. I just want it fixed in one position. So the new plate just sits right up in here like this. Line up the holes and put the bolts in. Just like you would the other one, basically. There we go. And now, if I run items across here, nothing. It's not hitting anything, it's nice and smooth, it's rock solid, it's not too big, and I can easily run parts across here in either direction, right down the middle. Um, I got good blade clearance. It's just fantastic, I love it. It's such, a, such an improvement over what used to be on there. This is what the old one looks like as far as the size. So it's not a, that much bigger, but it's just enough for what I like to do. And it's still portable as well. And it just fits on there really good. Rock solid. I love it. I wish I would have done it sooner, but at least I got it done now. Hopefully you guys got some uh, good info out of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you on the next video.